Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to show you how we upgraded our blinds and our bedding in our casita. With the factory mini blinds that you see here, one thing that we've never liked about them is you can see on this close-up how over time they get bends and wrinkles in them. Not to mention also the blinds are a pain to raise and lower with the little straps, so we wanted something better. The blinds are connected to the trailer with this little mount right here and all you do is this little latch on the front you just move it out and then it comes off. Now this screw right here is what actually holds it to the wall. Just take that screw out and put it right back in the window and you're ready to go on to the next step. We ordered these mounts from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below and you see I did have to cut the back off though so they would fit up on the wall and the bar would be in the right place. And you'll see up here where this one's mounted for this side. It's just mounted up next to the wall. I actually did put a rivet through there to hold it. It does have VHB tape and then you can see the other one on the other side. We took the uh, mounts and just went to Home Depot and bought a piece of PVC pipe. You can see the flat cap on the end of it. And that's what we use to hang our blinds. This is the uh, rod for the back window. You can see how we mounted both blinds or both mounts up there. And then this is going to be the rod on the passenger side and you'll see the blinds already on there and the PVC pipe just slides through the actual blind. The actual blind is going to be made from a heavy duty canvas and you sewed these together and you'll see she put a loop at the top, goes all the way across for the top bar and down at the bottom she's got a smaller loop and we took a wooden dowel and put it down through there to give some rigidity on the bottom of the blind. Now to open the blinds, all we did is uh, Angela made these straps and she just got Velcro on each end of the strap. You just hang the strap over the top bar like that. She's putting the other one on now. And then down at the bottom, you uh, unhook the blind. Just roll it up. And then hook your straps over. And just hook the Velcro. and hook the velcro on this side. Now you've got a clear unobstructed view out the window and the blinds are out of the way. And you can see the back one's already up here with the straps on. And then to let them down you just undo the straps and the window drops down and hook the velcro on the bottom and you're done. The velcro on the bottom, if you remember from the blinds where Casita mounted them, there was an elastic strap down here, one on each side, and that held the bottom of the blind down. What we did is we took those elastic straps off, took some of the same canvas we made the blind out of, and Angela sewed these little straps here, and then she sewed Velcro onto them. Let me drop the blind, and then the Velcro just hooks, and there's the Velcro on the back of the blind, and it just hooks to that little strap, and that holds the blind in, because remember these walls are kind of an angle, they're not straight up and down, but that holds the blind nice and secure. The other nice thing about the blinds is when you need to clean them, you just take the bar out of the top up here, you take the wooden dowel out down here at the bottom, you throw them in the wash machine, you wash them, you dry them, you hang them back up and they're nice and clean. And uh, it just makes life a lot nicer in here. You have a lot more uh, privacy when they're down and you got a better view when they're up. The other thing that we've done recently is you'll see new bed spreads uh, for the beds. Angela made those, they're pretty simple. Uh, they've got nice pillowcases that match them at the top. They're fitted on the bottom. Uh, you can't see with the new blankets we got. But the fitting makes it a lot easier to make the beds and makes it simpler. Now if you don't feel comfortable doing sewing, I'm going to put a link in the bottom to A and B Lifestyle. They're the ones that made the sheets for us that are fitted to these mattresses. They will do custom work so they should be able to make the bed spreads. And they may even make the blinds for them. You just have to contact them and see. With that being said, we appreciate you watching, we appreciate your support, and we'll see you in the campground.